Welcome back to the stack. Welcome back if you've been here before. My name is the stack. Welcome to the stack. This is the Mac. And today on Little Max the Mac, we got we got some more EA slash Commander gameplay content for you today. It is four commanders with four people. You know the people. What are we playing today, Mac? Well, I'll tell you, Mac. Well, today in the today today listen today's EDH content, we have Aiden who is doing Farida who is doing dice rolling nonsense who wants to just roll a lot of dice because the mechanic is a lot of fun but around from Aiden we also have Foley. Foley joined us for this episode because Guy couldn't join because problems happen. This is a this is a weird time man. Foley is on Cardor. Cardor is like man what if everyone combat? Combat's great. You know who doesn't want to do combat that much? It's Adrian. It's on Lind. Lind curses. What is curses? Lind what, what, what is listen 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 doom wake giant we want to make someone suffer it's lind cheerful tormentor but around from there final person calvin me i'm me what did i play i play dungeons why do you play dungeons sephiroth well i'll tell you why i play dungeons sephiroth because i want actions on everyone's end step that's what's happening today if you like the video please be sure to also help as always, this wouldn't be possible without viewers like you. If you like what you see, consider sharing this video and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to check out our Patreon. Becoming a patron is the best way to get involved, support the channel, and get more EDH and magic content from us here at The Stack, as none of this would be possible without their support. Stick around as well as we have plans to radicalize the Patreon very soon. Another way to support us is by checking out our sponsor, Pandemonium Games and Hobbies, both on their website and their TCG Player storefront. Pick up some magic, perhaps some of the staff's unique merchandise, and it'll go a long way in supporting not only us, but the community that brought us to you. As for our gameplay, if you want more, don't forget to check out our streams over on MTG The Stack Rebound, both when we go live as well as our back catalog of game after game from all of our streams. Comment down below your thoughts on today's episode, and we hope you enjoy the show. Not that anyone would, would notice, um, but this video is coming out a little later than it should have because we stepped into an issue with the last video, so this is not the video that was supposed to come out. And I'm a little bit sad because it featured goals being played in the most hilariously fair way possible. Who is banned? <laughs> yeah. So we're doing another budget game, this one featuring the, the cards that you saw in the opening hands uh, segment of the video that's been, that's been recorded like three days from now. <laughs> you, you already know what's you can happening. Have that yeah. one. You can have that one, and you can have that one, but Psych, it's actually mine. Oh, cool. All that right. means Foley wins. That. One, two, three, flip. <laughs> I was supposed Game's to be easy. the winner again, Calvin. Game's easy. I was supposed to win again. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. I didn't, you're cursed. <laughs> All right, Foley, I think that means you've cheated your way into the uh, winning seats. That cool. puts you on the play, right? And with my... Insane luck, we're gonna go swamp ass. You didn't draw for turn yet. I didn't. You have to do that fully. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> make your own luck. I'll have to keep draw. <laughs> well, I know what I'm gonna give it this uh, trinket mage since I just topped that closet gix. Um, am I lying? I'll never tell the truth. Here's my mountain, and I'll just pass. Oh, cool. Our exotic orchard in Palmar's store. Yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Boop! Um, I'm gonna play this Thriving Moor, which is actually a Demir Guildgate pass. Ooh. Sick. Uh, draw. Uh, let's go Temple of Epiphany. Scrizzle, bottom. Scrizzle, nizzle. Scrizzity, izzle. Scrizzle, izzle. And go ahead. Cool. Untap, upkeep, draw. Mountain, two. Stormfist Crusader. Ooh, Beginning yeah. of my upkeep, each player draws a card and loses one life. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I love oh, this guy. Good. Cool. Spooky. Good. Untap, upkeep. Also, Menache, but that one went, that one went, might not matter. No, oh, Menache. Menache matters. You know, it does matter. The Shivan Reef. Hey. Um, that I get to tap. Uh, two, Hit him and with play the a Felwar Stone. Hey! And then that's it, pass turn. All right, so untap, upkeep, draw. Now I could just go like this basic island in order to play my own Felwar Stone, but I thought about it. And I'm gonna play this port town, revealing this basic revealing island. Revealing a basic island. To play my Felwar Stone. I'll play a Felwar Stone. See, that's that's uh, good magic. That's the pass sauce. Turn. All right, untap. Cool, it's an draw. island because no one else has white. Yeah. Um, Although I guess you also have black. Never mind, you're right. Yeah, he's yeah. good. Frost spoil, snarl, reveal island, uh, signet. Signet? Okay. Go. Cool. It's budget. And it's upkeep. Like your upkeep. So everyone draw a card and lose a life. Nice. Draw, draw. Draw a card? It's you too, right? Oh, yeah. I forgot to. No, you do it on his upkeep. Oh, on his upkeep. Yep. Okay. All right, uh, we're going to go Graven Cairns. Ew. Sick. Ew. Yeah. All right, ew. Yucky. Ew. We're going to go into combat. And, man, I don't, I don't know. Calvin, vibe check. <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> Pass turn. <laughs> Absolutely no reason. I oh, wait, I apologize. I'm sorry. I thought I had no plays. I do have one, exactly one play. Zool Park Cutthroat. You don't want to miss that one. Oh. No. Draw for turn. All right, we'll do a basic mountain as my land for turn. I didn't have it, but Foley let me draw an extra card. Seems like a gen generically a mistake, but that's just my opinion. Um, I think that I want to try pull ahead a little bit. Mm. Um, I had the curses deck is gonna pull ahead. It's yeah, it sounds fake, right? It does. Uh, it just sounds super it fake. Sounds pretty fake. I'm gonna play a trinket mage. Yeah, yeah. 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 And the card I'm tutoring for because I have to show you is this soul ring, which I will cast. Oh wow! Yeah, there's pulling my soul ring. Ahead. Pulling ahead. We're, we we sure are doing it. it sounds a lot Maybe. like that. Claws of Gixtral wasn't a lie. Uh, you know, <laughs> fast turn. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna play this basic island for a turn. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is, I, I first it was the Felwar Stone, but you know, what if I did it again? <clears throat> I play a Trinket Mage. Oh, wait. Hey. All I right. I should have played my Claws of Gix and sacrificed <laughs> the Trinket Mage. Huh? That would have been smart. Ta-da! There she is, in all her beauty. A fake soul ring. Yep. <laughs> No wait. No, that's, this is. Oh wait, no. This, this is a real deck. This, deck, this deck's real. Budget how did you Sophie. How did you get this card in here? Well, it, it came in the precon. Right, right. That makes right. sense. Right, right. Hey, Soul Ring. We're gonna tap this guy because actually we need the white. I'm gonna play a Wall of Omens. Oh, uh, cool. he's gonna trigger and draw a card. Beat. Aww. Aww. But I gotta let the last mana float pass. Untap. Draw. Um, we're gonna play this guy. Hoarding Ooh. Ogre. This one where he attacks, you get treasures, but you gotta roll a die. Yeah. You gotta die over there? At some point, yep. you probably need that. Here's the die for him. Here's the dungeons for me. Cool. Let's go. Untappy. Upkeep. Everyone lose one one. Lappy. Oh, it keeps happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. All right. Uh, at this point in the game, we're gonna go Command Tower. Mm -hmm. And then Let's we're actually... Command. Nope. Not no? quite yet. We're gonna first play an Ember Wild Captain. The, okay, hold on. I just need that. There we go. Ember Wild Captain enters the battlefield. You become the monarch. I guess we need tokens. Um, whenever an opponent attacks while you're the monarch, it, it deals damage that play equal number of cards in your hand. Hey, man, good thing I don't attack a lot. We're gonna That's move. Pretty to, mean, fully. We're gonna move to combat. Wait, I didn't on. understand. Oh, I'm, I'm the monarch, and if you if you deal combat damage to me, you take damage equal to the number of cards in your hand. Anyway, um, move to combat. Yeah. I'm not interested in Calvin double blocking me, even though he probably wouldn't. Um, so we're gonna move in at Aiden for two. Yeah. Moving in at Aiden for two. Minache. relevant. Cool. Um, end step, Monarch trigger, pass turn. So you're telling me if I hit you, I have to take a lot of damage. Draw. Seems like I'm not gonna do that. Come on, you can become the Monarch, I won't block. Uh, you know, I wanna play a basic Swamp as my land for turn. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna, you know, um, I'm gonna tap for, yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, I may be talking to myself, and you may ask yourself, where is my beautiful car? Where is my beautiful Where is my Cadillac? I'm gonna play Lynn Cheerful Tormentor. My commander. Is that okay? That's okay. fine. No one's gonna get mad at me and start throwing spoons. No. Um, then I'm gonna tap for three and I'm gonna have to lose one to this Shivan Reef. Because <laughs> I wanna enchant myself with Curse of Verbosity. Hear me out. You may be asking yourself, where is my beautiful car? But um, Curse of Verbosity says, whenever enchanted players attack, that's me. Um, each opponent attacking that player does the same. Wait, whenever enchanted players attack, you draw a card. <laughs> each opponent attacking that player does the same. So if you attack me, you both draw a card. Think about that. I'm gonna pass the turn. Hey, it's relevant when I play my commander. Right? Draw! So you're telling me if I attack you, I get to draw a card. You get to and me, you know, both of us. It's a bit of a mutual effort. There's a lot of group hug going on right now. I, Grixis just wants to hug you. Yeah. All right, Mr. Grixis. Don't hug him, he's diseased. No, Enter combat. Diseased. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your diseases. How about we trade diseases? Wait, isn't that like a fell or stuff? Or no? no, no, it's a trinket. Oh, no, it's a trinket. trinket I think we're pretty cool losing our trinket mage to both draw cards. Yeah. Let's do that. Woo! Hey, it's the solemn song of Simulacrum. It's a, yeah, I, it built you a sad robot. Aren't you going to help me win now? <laughs> <laughs> um, so now, I think what we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Man, can't do it all, Calvin. Can't do it all. Why would you want to do anything? Passing the turn and holding up mana is what a good Esper player would do. Every fucking thing in my hand is sorcery speed. Well. Well. Have, you, have you thought about breaking out of the Sharpie? <laughs> Rewriting some of those lines of text? What are Linda's stats? 
She's a 2 4. Leave her alone. Jesus two, Christ. I'm just wondering if she can kill this if I attack. If you attack, I won't even block it. Oh, she's got death touch. She's got death touch, but I won't even block it. You won't block? No. Because right, right. we can both draw a card. Yeah, that'd be great. What's the problem? I love that. So I'm going to tap 1 2, right? And I think it's a black. Whack. And a blue. And a blue. I'm going to play Hostage Taker. Yo, Ooh. that's whack. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is that groovy? Yeah, that happens. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm going to target Felwar Stone. Oh. What? Yeah. You don't want this? That's for you. Well, no, because I'm just... going to play Felwar Stone. Uh, yeah, you get you to don't play just it. take it. You, you get to play it. Yeah. And now that I've played it, it uh, doesn't matter what happens to the Hostage Taker. No, I've played this a bunch. I know. Oh, okay. But, uh... Then I will tap the Felwar the Stone for black. I'm going to play a Viserys here. Oh, here we go. It's coming. It's happening. And I am going to drop my land for turn, a Demir Aqueduct, picking up Jesus. the island. Uh-oh. Uh, hey, guys, it's starting to smell like poop in here. <laughs> <laughs> we might need to call for a real estate agent. <laughs> I have uh, seven cards in hand. Pass the turn. Untap. Bro. Yeah. Tap. Oh, here she is. Faraday. Faraday. De Duke Devil. Her name's Farty, right? Farty. <laughs> Go to combat. All right. Do it. Ha! Trigger. And then my thing triggers. Yeah, okay. So, so we'll we... both draw a card. Ooh. Yeah. Cool. And now your thing triggers. All right. Let's roll that dice. 13. 13. So That's two treasures? I get two treasures, yeah. And I get to draw a card off him. He gets Menache and Flying. And then I'm, I'm not blocking, by the way. So I take three? Yeah. One, two, three. Why am I not blocking? Because I, I like this relationship of people attacking me and drawing cards with me. I need cards. Man. Play is it boiler works. Bounce this island back. Is that another bounce land? It yeah. sure is. Yeah. And then go to this card. Yep. Rough. Uh, two oop, mountains. Oop. Two sleep. mountains. All right, Foley, is it time cool. for more cards? It sure is. I'll lose a land and draw a card. Eat. Draw a card. Oh, yeah. Tainted Peak. I do control a swamp so I can tap for black or red. We're going to first do one of these. Shiny Epinus on Viserys here. Hey, I play a card too. All right. Cool. We're going to move into combat. Yeah. Adrian. Me? Yeah. Um, so we'll both draw a card. Yep. Interesting. And I will take two. Yep. Go what I drew. <laughs> Put that right there. Make it have to attack I. <laughs> and then uh, we're going to move into second main phase. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to feed the swarm. Oh, come on. Oh. What? <gasps> yeah. Take, take three. three. Yep. Faster. That just seems mean. On tap and draw oh, for turn. Oh, Monarch trigger. Yep, Monarch trigger. Draw for turn. I'm going to play an Exotic Orchard, and then... Ugh, that's so meanful. You didn't have to do that. I sure didn't. You... <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Foley. <laughs> nice. We're about to play a fun game together, you and I. Um, I'm oh, gonna... wait, I sh oh, wait, no, I drew off him. Foley, that's I'm going to tap for... This is important because I'm going to tap out. Okay. But I'm going to tap for uh, one black, two colorless, red, red. Doesn't really matter, but we'll go blue and colorless. So we've added seven to our mana pool fully. Yeah. I say this, directing all of my visceral at you. Um, hey, man, I, you got real salty over one card. Hey, man, I needed that card. It's part of my cards. Um, and then I'm going to play Doomwake Giant. And Doomwake Giant says, whenever it or another enchantment enters the battlefield, my opponent's control creature get minus one, minus one on turn. Bro, you're going to get it back. Who cares? It's fine. So I'm going to, everything is minus one, minus one, right? Yeah. And I have two floating. Still apart, cut, cut through a trigger. Yep, so we all take one. And then for my next trick that, oh, that dies. No, it doesn't. No, no it's it, plus two, plus two. Oh, oh, right. No, that's just gonna live, um, which is pretty bad, but I am gonna um, play Curse of the Pierced Heart as well. Um, and with that, I am just going to enchant myself. But that triggers Doomwake Giant and everything is minus one, minus one again. Wait, wait, uh, how many minus one, minus ones are This is the at? second one. We're at one, it's one. not gonna kill any of your okay. stuff. Okay, yeah. It's all, I'm also out of mana for what that's yeah, worth. Yeah, yeah. Cool. We're cool. Is that cool? Yeah. Cool. And then I'm just going to drop a Claws of Gix, and I'm going to go into combat, realize this has Death Touch, and pass the turn. <laughs> All right. Untap. Draw. Basic Island. When do you get it back, anyway? What? Well, they don't. That's not how the card works. Oh. Yeah. I thought I said whenever you, something enters it, you're great. Oh, wait. No. Hold on. Fully. We just missed a game state. So it's been a minute since I played Lind. But very importantly, at the beginning of my upkeep, at the beginning of... The next end step, 
Yeah, I have this. I just forgot to gift it. I honestly forgot that you get it back when yeah, I destroyed I it. I forgot it too fully, and since we forgot it, I'm just still stuck with it. I guess. See, nothing happened. We can draw more cards. We can draw more cards, guys. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me how this deck works fully. Because, like, I, I did that in the past year. I'm like, wait a minute, that was a punt. I forgot you get it back. And yeah. then you didn't get it back. I'm like, wait, what? What? Miss, miss trigger, sir. Here's the here's the bright side. I'm at 30. Don't have a lot of ways to gain life, and you guys can just probably kill me if you feel like it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this for fuck whatever color and this for that oh, wait no there's no white i can't tap both full or stones in this way i do have to fuck where's my white man you need two white there's yeah. a port time wow. right there i just port. realized it's my only white oh no but it'll be fine what do you need for double white there's, is there a there's spells Sun in this deck. um so that that and yeah that ta-da this is a white and this is fucking whatever here's a Sephiroth. Oh, right, right. Cool, do we lose? That, that, that's usually what happens with Sephiroth. Yeah, we can concede. Is that how this works? <laughs> I, 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 don't know how, I don't know how this Rube Golden for machine works, but... I just... Someone just usually tells me I lost, and I go, yeah, that's probably correct. <laughs> go home now. Uh, what I got is I would like to cast... I am going to cast Persist, targeting Phantasmal Image. Yeah, you want to do my Giant, don't you? No, he wants a hostage taker. Yeah, that's it. I have no responses. I'm tapped yeah. out. Same. I think we're all tapped out. I think we've all been efficient using all but... of our mana. All right. So this enters the battlefield. It is, yeah, a hostage taker. Fun fact about that. Um, get the minus one, minus one counter because of how persist works. Yeah. But when hostage taker now enters the battlefield, I'm going to target Iden's arcane signet. Mm. You do be wanting all our mana, though. He's a mana I, goblin. <laughs> I am a mana goblin. Sure. I'm gonna cast, cast the arcane signet. Look at this hostage shape. Hey, now you have another blue white source. I do. He found it the white on source. on the stack. So it is off the hostage taker. Sweet. I'm going to enter combat. Yeah. And I'm going to throw this 3-3 three, three at Iden and this 2-3 at Foley. You want to draw no card? Man. He's gonna draw the card off the monarch anyway. That's true. Yeah, I'll take two. Two. Monarch. Yay. And then I would like to tap this black mana in order to cast Carrion Feeder. Man, more free sack outlets. I get a treasure, yeah. You do get a treasure. You do yeah. get your treasure. Carrion Feeder's good, yep. Move to end step? Yeah. Trigger yeah. Monarch? Trigger Monarch, yep, that's good. Untap, draw, play an island, tap it, play Sol Ring, combat, this at Foley, this at you. All right, block. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> so we both, we both draw a card? Oh yeah, we both yeah, draw. We both draw. And then you roll first? Yeah, roll. That's ten. 10, so you get what, two treasures still? He gets two, two treasures, and I still draw cards. That's pretty sick. Yeah. And then I take three. I, I'm gonna play a Rail Zarek. That's a Rail Zarek. That seems legal. That's legal. Oh, wait. That's a combo piece. No. That, that's a combo piece. Plus two. Scry two? You scry, scry one. one. Man, that Rail Zarek's weird. Yeah, we'll keep that. Then we'll go to discard. Uh, Wait, uh, on your end step. On Iden's end step? Yeah, I'm on Iden's end step, step right now. I'm gonna sacrifice my bad hostage taker uh, to carry and feeder. Make so it bigger? I'm gonna get, make it bigger. Dungeon time? I'm gonna dungeon time. And I think, I think. Dungeon time, come on. I'm here for some annihilation. Friends, yeah, uh oh. Every, everyone loses a life. Yeah. Um, this is bigger. Yep, you all set? So that's whenever a creature dies, you put a 1 1 counter on it? When I sack a creature to him. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh oh. All right, go to this card, Thriving Bluff. Got it. Untap. Oh, keep a draw. We're going to play a Smoldering Marsh. I control two basic lands. Nice. And then we're going to go four. Cardur, Doom Scourge. Oh, All creatures yeah. are goaded, even if he dies. That's awesome. awesome. Also, whenever an attacking creature dies, that player loses one life. Or each player loses one life, I gain one life. That's even better. Cracking this treasure, adding two more. We're going to Parasitic Impetus this. Awesome. Amazing. Not only is it goaded, it's also goaded. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> on tap. Uh, oh wait, not on tap. He has more actions. On his end step. Proceed to make the animation for on tap. Okay. Um, we're sacrificing the Wall of Omens now to the Carrion Feeder. It carries. And this thing. Are yep. we going into Veils of Fear or Obliet? Um, everyone loses two life and loses a discard a card. Oh, cool. Okay, I got a discard. I'm gonna, I have one. I'm going to discard Fire Covenant because my life total is low. Theater of Wars. Violent tumor. Cool. Ew. On tap. Yep. Upkeep trigger Lind. Let me see here. When does this in the beginning of enchanted player's upkeep? It deals damage to that player. Um, so that's gonna hit me regardless. 
Um, but I will be using Lind to gift this. I'm just gonna give it to you, Mr. I have 33 life. You're just gonna take one at every upkeep, that's all. You own every one of your upkeeps. Yeah, yeah. And because of that, I'm gonna draw two off and of you took. Did you already take one from that? I'm about, yeah, I tri trigger the Lind, then I take one, then I draw for turn. We have two basics, so when I play the Sunken Hollow, much like Foley, it comes into play. On tap. I live in fear for the rest of my life, I think. Um, I am going to tap for two red, and I'm gonna play Smoke. Um, that's gonna trigger Doomwake Giant, and every creature that's not mine is gonna get minus one, minus one till end of the turn. I will represent that here for how many times it's happened in the turn. Then I'm gonna tap for five, and I'm gonna play Curse of Misfortunes, hmm. enchanting myself. Yeah. Um, so when I do that, that's gonna trigger Doomwake Giant again, and each creature gets minus two, minus two now. Yep. Is that Fuego? Yeah. Okay, cool. I am going to go to combat? Yep. What's Zephyr's power toughness? Uh, three toughness. Oh, okay, right on. Two three, two three, three three. Uh, currently a five five. Cool. And then I'm going to move straight through to my next uh, no, you're phase. Not. Oh, I have to attack? Every creature is goaded. Uh, and they can't attack you, right? Right. It's, it actually doesn't say goaded, but every creature has to attack and they can't attack me. I'm I'm gonna try to attack you for six. Me or him or the walker? Uh the the you. The you. That's not how goaded works. You can't attack a walker when you're goaded. You can't? It's, no, it's, you this, can't. Isn't, this isn't goaded. This is when he enters the battlefield until my next turn. Creatures your components control oh. attack each combat if able. Uh, yeah, goaded does not let you hit walkers. We, we found that out with so the rover. They must attack, but they can attack whatever. Got it. I, so I, I'm still attacking you for six. And then in my, in my second main phase, I'll tap for one. I'm going to sacrifice Curse of Verbosity to cause of Gix and gain a life. I'll go to my end step. Yeah. Trigger do make giant. Yeah. Thank you, actually. Yes. I can just play him next turn. Yeah. So everything now has minus three, minus three. Um. So wait, why? Because of I sacked this to claw. He did this. It's the Lin trigger. Yep. It's the Lin trigger. Lin trigger. Yep. So with that on the stack. Yeah. So with with this coming into play on the stack, or the Doomwake Giant trigger on the stack. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the Doomwick Giant trigger. So this is in, but we have this is trying to happen still. Got yeah, um, I get to because I have some sacky things, right? Yep. One of them I'm going to sack to the Carrion Feeder um, in order to make it a little bigger. When I do, uh, we go deeper. Yeah. And now everyone loses a life unless they sacrifice an artifact, a creature, or a land. I'll sacrifice a creature. Uh, I'm gonna lose a life. Yeah. yeah. Sacrifice a creature. It is important to note that if you play into creatures, if you play into creatures with haste, they are not go or they are not goaded by Carter. Well, I got no. Technically, Calvin, think about it for a second. Sacrifice a creature. How about a creature that's gonna fucking die? Yeah. And we're just gonna put her back into the command zone, and then I am going to sacrifice the Seraphir to himself. To describe one. Describe one. Got it. So I'm gonna keep that on top. Yeah. And then that's all I have. So we can. Th this is gone. Your turn. All right. Untap. Trigger curse. Trigger curse, I'm gonna lose a life. Yep. I'm gonna draw for turn. All right, so I'm gonna play a basic planes. This is two, and this is a black. I would like to cast Victimize. Oh boy. My name targets are Phantasm Image and Hostage Taker. Mm. I got nothing. Mm. I'm tippy tappied out. All right, and you got anything? I do not have a counter, so. All right, Calvin, I think that happens. We have to sacrifice a creature to make it go off. We do get the Hostage Taker. Yep. Uh, hostage taker, when it enters the battlefield, I have to target a thing, and I'm gonna target the Claws of Gex. And then Phantasmal Image cannot enter the battlefield as a copy of Hostage Taker, the way cloning works. Cool. So we will have it enter the battlefield, I guess, as a copy of... Linda. You Lind. are now Linda. You have a Lind, you have a Lind. I have a Lind. And this is Wait, in I don't exile? Know what that does, yeah, it's still in exile. It's important to note that like, if you sacrifice that curse, that Lind can't play with it, because I'm the owner of it. Yeah. Yeah. So why why take the Lind? Why not yeah, I'm not sure. Lind? Like, you, if you don't have any curses, you can't actually why keep not playing take with the Lind. Lind's tracking curses attached to me. She is, but I can, oh, I guess I can't sacrifice them still. So I guess if I go deep with the curse of misfortunes, it can get weird. Um, I'm gonna cast for free, Claws of Gix. Yeah, oh yeah. Then I am going to go a blue, black, and a white, and a one, and a two. I want to play Sephiroth. Yeah, that's good. Deepu. You don't have a sack outlet, do you? No. Okay. I mean, kind yeah, of. Claws oh, of Gix is right. a pretty good sack outlet. Is it, can you sack creatures, or? You can sack anything. You can sack lands. It's not then free, but I it's pretty I might free. have a response then, sorry. Responding to Sephiroth, he's on the stack, or she. Uh, we're gonna cast Resculpt on Claws of Gix. Oh, cool. So he gets a 4-4 and this gets exiled, right? Not destroyed. Yeah. That's pretty relevant. Yep. Okay. All right, cool. There you go. Um, I get a 4-4. Four, four. Why does my Claws of Gix always get dealt with? It's pretty good. My butt it, hurts. We, we learned. 
Yeah, this is a good one. I will then, I'm gonna tap three. I'm gonna cast Mirror Image. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. What do you want that's yours already? Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Uh-oh. And it makes a non-legendary copy? No. It will make a legendary copy. Oh, but one of them will die. One of them has to die. Yeah. And an interesting thing is actually gonna happen. Um, is he gonna both, kill your original? They'll see it. Um, yeah, so they both see the one die, right? right? So right. they're both gonna try and trigger and they're both gonna try and venture. Fun fact about how dungeons work. Oh, you get to bring that back? It forces the dungeon completion. Venture. Right, right. I'm gonna, yeah, because I'm, I'm now venturing twice. At least I remember, if I remember correctly. No, it doesn't force the dungeon. Whatever. I'm venturing once. Yeah. I'm gonna try and make a 4-4. Four, four. That's fine. Interaction, no, I'm nope. making another 4-4. Four, four. No. This one's legendary and is evil. Therefore, because <laughs> uh, I'm just <laughs> dumb. <laughs> uh, we have completed a dungeon. We now get to do a thing. Reanimation. We station. get to reanim. We are in the reanimation station. And I think what I'm going to get is, we're actually gonna get a carrying feeder again. Carrying feeder, cool. We have another venture, welcome to. Everyone loses a life. Yeah. Um, and that is all I got. All right. Because everything came into play this turn. On tap, draw. We're gonna cast Preordain. Preordain. Uh, oh. I think that triggers him, right? Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, he deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Okay. Probably oh, gonna be, happening. probably gonna be held and- Should you have for one? Beep, beep, yep. beep, beep. And then I'm gonna scry two and draw a card. Draw. Tap Soul Ring, play Talisman. Go wide, my boy. Play Island. Probably don't actually go wide, though. No, we're not going <laughs> wide. It's four mana, poor brand. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Got anything um, else there, boyo? Uh, we're going to plus Rel. Scry, scry one. I'll Still keep this unique. on top. Pass. Cool. Uh, during your end step. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I get to sacrifice my Hotchis Taker to the Carrion Feeder in order to give it a Pulse Opposing Counter. This is a creature card, so Sephiroth gets to see it. Um, when Sephiroth sees it, I'm going to do a thing. I'm actually going to go this way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, which means I have to discard a card as well as sacrifice a creature, an artifact, and a land. So I'm going to discard a Sun Titan. I'm going to sacrifice. Ah, <laughs> oh, this makes sense. Uh, this island, and I am going to sacrifice my or his. I'm gonna sacrifice his Felwar Stone. Also oh, goes into my graveyard. Yeah, this goes into your graveyard. Interesting. Also, I have to sacrifice a creature, which will be one of these creature tokens. We'll do the legendary. Okay. Um, and then all the way at the end, here's a counter. Cool. Neat. Cool. I'm gonna top deck Bajuka Bog. He's down bad. Nope, mountain. Uh, no, I know he needs six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Six, Carter. Everything on the field right now must attack. It is not goaded. Got it. Good to go? Yeah. Wait. Um, Calvin's got a thing. I gotta yeah. do my thing. Carrying feeder. I'm gonna sacrifice my Lind. Yeah. Um, because it is Fantastical Image is a creature card. I move over here and the dungeon. Here is the thing back. I've completed a dungeon. I get to reanimate. Here's Sun Titan. Oh my god. Here's Sun Titan. Here comes the Sun. Here's Sun Titan. Sun. Here's Sun Titan. Sun. Oh my god. What's up, Sun? Here's Wall of Omens. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna draw a card. Hey, is that it? Three um, Titans and a Wall of Omens. Can I be going though? This was foretold and... Yeah, you can go. <laughs> Sweet. Untap. I can only untap one creature. Yeah. Uh, that's how smoke works. Yeah. I think I'm actually gonna untap the uh, Doom Wake Giant. Yep. And then I'm gonna trigger it in a way where the um, Curse of Misfortunes is gonna let me tutor the thing and then I can gift it with land. Cool, that's how I'm putting those triggers on the stack. So first I'm gonna tutor with Curse of Misfortunes. Okay, so the card I'm gonna search up with Curse of Misfortunes is Curse of Death's Hold. Yeah. That's gonna trigger Doom Egg Giant and everything that's not mine gets minus one, minus one till out of turn. Lynn's gonna happen. I'm gonna pass this to you. Nice. So I'm gonna draw two cards Yeah. off of that. Then I'll draw one for turn. That's actually just a funny draw. Uh, I'm gonna do Mountain as my learn for turn. And then I'm starting to feel like I might be in danger. I don't trust any of you people and you're all mean and rude and I hate you. I'm gonna tap for one, two, three, three. four, five. And I'm gonna cast Shadow's Verdict. Right. Exile all creatures and planeswalkers with CMC three or less from the battlefield oh. and everything from the graveyard that has that's the same qualifiers. Including tra or tra creatures no. and Cre planeswalkers. Okay. So for me, it's going to deal with my trinket mage if it resolves. Blessings. Blessings. 
That's so fucking good. Well, I mean, you get to keep this whole swap, right? Yeah, all my Sun yeah. Titans have a CNC of six, and those two don't go away, but this Viserys here will go away. However, funny facts. Sephiroth so is gonna get exiled. There's nothing I can do about it, but I can sack it right now. Well, you can rezone your Sephiroth. That, that's basically yeah, what, yeah. what happens. I sack the Sephiroth to the Carrion get Feeder. Get the trigger, then exile it. Is the Carrion Feeder? Oh wait, is this in play and in graveyards? It's a graveyard damn play, yep. Yeah, so this also gets exiled. Yeah, it will get exiled. Okay. Yeah. Like, I can't get around that. Um, but I get to have a trigger. And I think I'm interested in... Hmm, this is looking at my big dumb fucking cards. I think I'm just interested actually this time in the Lost Mine. Lost Mine of Fandover? Yeah. Fandelier. And this is also for you. So. Has he been taking one hand on sub keeps? I took, I, it's only been one pass. Around. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. It's been some long turns. Yeah, th th this be the grindy game. I and assume this is resolving. So yeah, it resolves. Trinket Mage into my exile. I'm not trying to figure shit out. You only got Storm. I don't deal with my graveyard yeah. anyway. Uh, these are exiled. This is exiled, but not Hostage Shaker and Violent Tumor. And I have to attack, right, Foley? Yes. Got it. Then you can't attack me. I can't attack you. You're rude. Um, I will then... So is that everything? And those Sun Titans only have minus one, minus one currently? I actually have minus two, minus two, because of your Curse of Death hold. Curse of... Right, right. I don't think it's going to matter a whole ton here. Um, but for what it's worth, I will... I guess I can just kill one of them. Um, I'm going to tap for two. I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to play Demir Signet. And then I'm going to tap for three, and I'm going to play Propaganda, which triggers Doomwake Giant. So everything has minus two, minus two, except for Calvin stuff, which has minus three, minus three. Yep. Okay. Oh, I didn't fucking scry. That's Calvin the whole point of going into the goddamn mine. <laughs> and then I'll go to combat and fully. I can't attack you. Calvin, I really shouldn't attack you. Um, I, I'm going to hit... No, don't do it. Ral Zarek. No, I'm trying don't to hit do it. for four. Don't do it. No. And for four. It, it... Poor Ral. And after that, that's all I got. I'm going to pass the Poor turn. Ral. Whee! All right. Untap, upkeep. I'm going to lose a life because of the spine heart. Yep. And I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ta da! Praise the sun! <laughs> And then I'm going to play High Market as my land for Quit turn. Fine and sack out this, bro. <laughs> Dude, what, the fuck? what the hell? Oh man, it's almost like his deck was built to sacrifice creatures. Do you need to see a Bil therapist or something Bil about your self harm? I <laughs> I'm going to tap two and play Unmarked Grave. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, that all makes sense. <sighs> yeah. That's good. I hope yeah. yeah, that's good. I'm going to find a non-legendary card and put it into my graveyard. Yeah, non-legendary card to the graveyard. It's a it's a martyr's cross sacrifice. Oh, more sack outlets. More. Okay. All right. So this is now here. This is now here. Um, I'm going to set. Wow, Calvin. Thank God it's cheap. I'm going to tap this to sacrifice a creature to gain a life. Yep. When that happens, I'm going to make a treasure, treasure token. I'm just going to. I trust you. Can, Can you do that with itself? Yep. Nope. This is all good. Everything here is good. Everything she won't trigger off evil. tokens. But she no, but can off you cards. do it with a high market with itself? Or did you have, yeah. a, did you have a floating? It's it just has oh, I thought it was one in. My no, bad, my no, bad. No. High mark is just good. Did yeah. I give someone else my fucking treasure token? Am I yes, a probably. I don't know. Hell yeah. A treasure token. Fun fucking facts. We're gonna go to combat. Yeah. Yay. Don't, don't. I mean, you can hit me, I guess. If you want, but you should. Don't do fully. it, but also you should hit fully in the fucking face. <laughs> I didn't. I know what Ral Zarek does. I'm not gonna combo win you. I don't have the combo. I, that sounds like the sound someone who has the combo might make. I don't have the mouth. combo. <laughs> you need a copy spell on the copy spell, right? How many cards in your hand? Three. That's enough to be a copy spell on the copy spell, boys. I don't have two copy spells. Get You're, pro of him just to be if sure. Just, just so we're all aware, he did just specify he doesn't have two, two copy, copy spells. spells. However, I do have five or three five fives coming at Ral's Eric. Just oh real? God, really? I would just hit Calvin, what? Hmm? I mean, I would just hit Iden. <laughs> I, it's not gonna kill him. Okay. Yeah, but it'll do a lot of it, they, he, I want the Ral to be dead. That's fair. I Ral's would rather dead. die to infinite fucking dice. And that triggers three Oh wait, titles. by the fucking way. <laughs> I guess I a have three to drop, eat, A three drop, eat Calvin, a three drop. Yeah, Are you, is that it? That's it. Is that all you got? Um, I don't have anything to do with my mana. However, this is a new Sephiroth. Sure. Right? So what I am going to do is I'm just going to now sacrifice this Phantasmal Mage to the Mars Cause to, for a future source this turn, prevent all the damage. That the Sephiroth gets to see that, I'm yep. going to make everyone else lose a life as I gain a life. Yeah. And then that is my turn. Pass. Ba, ba, ba. Untap. Draw. All right. Well, we'll just pay two. Oh, attack me. Trigger Curse of Verbosity. Yeah. You draw. draw. And then I will take four. 
Is yeah, that correct? Yeah. And play a mountain phantasmal image. Sure. Choosing that. When it enters the battlefield until your next turn, creatures your opponent's control attack each combat if able and attack a player other than you if able. Okay. So that, that triggers ETBs, right? Because that's why you play it. Uh, right. It would. Yeah. You would ETB. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you see that you get the ETBs. Okay. Yeah. Cool. The, the, the weird twist is if two creatures are coming in at the same time, the clone can't okay. copy the other creature. You all set then. End step. Yeah. I'm going to sacrifice Sun Titan to Mars Cause. Trigger Sephiroth. I'm going to draw a card. I have completed a dungeon. I'm going to get a Sun Titan. Sun Titan. And then I'm going to get a Phantasmal image. Which is a Sun Titan. Um. No, I guess it doesn't make sense here. I don't think it makes sense here. I'm actually going to sacrifice the. Uh, I'm going I'm to make it a Sephiroth. Okay. So it now dies, um, and I am going to go into the tomb. We all lose a life? We all lose a life. That is what I got, Pass. Cool. Onto, you ready for this blindingly fast turn, sort of, maybe? Draw, drop a swamp. First things first, terminate. That's not a creature. Oh, it's not a creature? Mars it's an a creature. I thought it was a creature. No, I should have killed you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> not as fast as I thought. But that being said, I'm still going to actually terminate the Sephiroth. Okay. That's fair. Um... For what it's worth, I am going to sacrifice the Sephiroth uh, to the Martyr's Cause. Yeah. Uh, so that this turn I get to prevent a source of damage. I'm going to put her in the bin. Okay. Um, and then uh, she does the thing still. And I'm just going to, everyone loses two life unless they discard a card. Unless they discard a card? Yeah. I'm going to discard. I'm going to discard a um, Talisman of Creativity. I'm going to discard a Swan. Uh, I navigate. No, I'm going to take two. I've discarded a Azorius Chancery. Okay. Cool. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Conjurer's Closet. Yeah. Move to combat. We're going to go in at Kelvin. Four. Cool. Move to end step. Blink. Everyone, every creature's goaded. Trigger. Or Anything not goaded, on his end step, Kelvin, or did you already blow your load there? Nah, I'm good. Monarch? Oh, yeah, he gets Monarch. Yep. Yeah, he gets Monarch. Which, fun fact, I keep on forgetting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Kelvin just forgot Monarch the whole time. So you draw a card at your end step? Yep. On my untap, I have Oops. to untap one creature, so it'll be Doomwake. Then I'm going to do Curse of Misfortunes first. Right? Yeah. You didn't need it. So you can give it to someone. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to get myself with Curse of Unbinding. And then, Sef th not Sephiroth, this isn't Sephiroth. Lynn Triggers, and I'm going to give it to you. Does also, it, is this whenever you cast or whenever it enters the battle? Enters, so this has already happened. I gifted it, so I draw two cards. Then I draw for turn. Um, I'm going to tap for four. Um, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to play Agent of Erebos. Um, that's an enchantment, so everything is minus. And whenever it or another enchantment enters the battlefield under my control, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. You. After that, I suppose I will play Choked Estuary. Tapped as my land for turn. I do not have anything to reveal to the Choked Estuary. Then I'm going to tap for two, and I'm going to play Wish Claw Talisman. And I'm going to pop the Talisman immediately, but I'm going to give it to Foley. I suppose I won't tap like a dick, FYI, for everyone concerned. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know what I'm getting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I'm gonna get this card, camera. I'm gonna tap for three. That's blue. I'm gonna play Mirror Maid. Um, when it enters the battlefield, I'm gonna have it come in as a copy of um, Curse of Misfortunes on me. <laughs> and that'll trigger Doomwake Giant. And it'll trigger Agent of Erebos, Exile Your Graveyard Iden. Yep. Do you have any response? I have a response. Does anyone else does? I don't have any responses. Okay. Um, though, with the Doomwake Giant trigger on the stack, that does that is hitting your... Uh, yeah, yeah. Dude. I'm gonna village rights Carter. Yeah. As it dies, draw two cards. Nope. Calvin, I'm gonna come at you because I have to for uh, four? four. Wow. And then after that, I just blew my entire nut past her. <laughs> and I have nothing but that. Lose a life to the heart. Curse and of verbosity. What? Or on my on binding, sorry. What do you get? Angel of Serenity. I'll take an Angel of Serenity. Does that mean I get the trigger? It, when it enters the battlefield, I exit up to three target other. other Three other target creatures from the battlefield and or creatures from graveyards. And, and when it leaves, I, those go back to the owner's hands. But I think I'm going to hit these and pass priority. I'm going to sacrifice the Sun Titan to the Martyr's Cause. Okay. And then, yeah. Those get ex exiled under the angel? Yeah. I'm just going to put these down here. And when this angel goes away, you guys get them back to your hands. All right, cool. And that's all I have. Draw. Land for turn. One, two, three. Base. Sephiroth. Yeah. I'm going to play Nadar. Oh, more dungeons. Nadar is going to enter the battlefield. I am going to get a venture doodad. Each player loses a life unless they sacrifice an artifact, a creature, or a land. Is two. it a life or two? Two life. Two. Deep. I'm going to go 15. Sacrifice a creature. Wait. Sorry, I'm going to discard uh, Swamp. Cool. It's, no, you sacrifice. You no discard. Oh, yeah, no discard? Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Just sacrifice Wish Glow. Nah. Okay. I'm going to sacrifice this Nadar. That'd be funny, though. Trigger? Yeah. I'm going to make my 4-4. This is my 4-4 because it's legendary. Yep. 
Sephir sees it, Sun Titan, Nadar, then I'm gonna go back into the mine, yeah. or the, the Annihilation. Pass the turn. On top, draw. We're gonna pass. Oh, you're just gonna draw and pass. Uh, on your end step. I always forget he has actions. Every turn, he's never gonna stop. Sacrifice uh, Martyr's, uh, Nadar to Martyr's cause Yeah. Um, in order to do a thing. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go into sacrifice a bunch of shit, as well as discarding a card. And I'm gonna discard, I think, this Auric Lore Mage, yeah. as well as losing a land, which is gonna be a basic island, as well as losing an artifact, which is gonna be the not my uh, arcane signet and a creature. Go ahead, Foley. Uh, tap, upkeep, draw. Here's a mountain. I'm gonna go one and do this wish claw thing. Aiden, here's a tutor. Ooh. Oh, that seemed right. Oh yeah. yeah. I and mean, we already got rid of the Ralph. Show the camera what I got. And then one, two, three, four, five. Frenzied Saddle Brute. The fuck what? is that? Uh, all haste, all creatures can attack your opponents and play as well as if those uh, creatures had haste. Oh, neat. So neat. it's Concord of Crossroads, but only if they're attacking someone that's not me. Neato. And then three, uh, Agitator Ant. Yeah. At the beginning I... of uh, yeah of your end step, each player may put two one one counter on the creature of the control. If you do, it's goaded. Uh, move to combat. Uh, seven at Iden. Seven. And then and. Move to end step. First trigger is Conjurer's Closet, or we're going to trigger Monarch, Conjurer's Closet, and Agitator Ant. Uh, yeah. In response to end step. Yeah. Uh, Sun Titan, Martyr's Cause. Uh, we're going to do the thing. We get the token again. Make a man. Uh, Sephiroth is like, yo, that's neat. What if you got to reanimate something? And I'm like, yo, that's neat. What if I got to reanimate something? That's uh, all good. And yeah. then you got to venture. Now I got to venture again. I do just want to say that trapped. with this Agitator Ant, I want counters on my Angel's <laughs> Yeah. Does anyone else want to put two one one counters on a creature they control? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it on my Sephiroth. That makes sense. I'm going to put it on my Agitator Ant because I'm about to blink my frenzy fast. That'll brew. Okay, cool. And then blink Monarch go. All right, my turn. Yeah. Keep your Kelvin. All right, I'm gonna untap. I actually have two Curse of Misfortune's triggers. Um, I also only untap one creature, which is gonna be Doomweight Giant. So I'll do the first Curse of Misfortune's and the second one. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, with the first Curse of Misfortune's, I'm going to get Cruel Reality. And that's going to put on to Doomwake Giant. Everything is going to get minus one, minus one. That's not mine. Neat. And with the second one, I'm going to get Trespasser's Curse. Same deal. Everything gets minus one, minus one. That's not mine. Um, and then we have a Lind trigger happening. Um, with Lind, I'm going to pass the Cruel Reality to Calvin. Yeah. Cruel Reality, Cruel Reality is on you. Um, and then after I'm, everything's said and done, I'm going to hit you and you with the uh, Agent of Erebus triggers. Which is, sorry, no, remind me again. Exactly the graveyard. Okay. I have a curse. I have a curse that does hold the minus two minus two is going to get it. And then for what it's worth, I'd still do move to yeah. uh, here. I Each player loses uh, two life unless they discard a card. And when I gifted that cruel reality, I will draw two. Is that cool? Uh, yeah. Do you? I have no effects. I'm going to take the life. Do you want to discard a card? Yeah, I'm going to discard a swap. I'll discard. No, I'll lose two. All right. I'll draw two. Then I'll draw for turn. I'm going to play a smoldering marsh, which comes into play on tap for all the right reasons. Um, I'm going to tap for three, and I'm going to play Shiny Impetus, and I'm going to put it on this dude. Cool. And that triggers Doomwake Giant, and that triggers this thing, so I'm going to exile Adam's Graveyard. I'm going to... Um, I have to... I'm going to sacrifice my token to the Martyr's Cause. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I'm going to tap for four with the Soul Ring, and I'm going to play Torment of Scrabs. Uh, at the beginning of the chain of player's upkeep, that player loses three life unless they sacrifice a land, a non-land permanent, or discard a card. Um, so I'm going to put that on Calvin and that's going to trigger both Doomic Giant and Agent of Erebos. Um, for what it's worth, I'm going to target uh, Foley's Graveyard. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to tap for five, tap out to play Curse of Surveillance on Calvin, triggering everything one more time. Yeah, my, my shit's gone. And then I'm going to, for what it's worth, that puts the Agent of Erebos trigger on the stack. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to stack it in a way where I can exile your bin. So I, I'm going to go into combat, and I'm going to attack you for seven um, plus four. That's going to be uh, 11, 12, 13. And pass okay. priority. Well then, we're just done. That's gonna take out Aiden, and then we have to hope Calvin this doesn't get us. goes that, that actually is in play. Oh, it is in play? Um, I think it goes to the next player with priority. How does how does Wishclaw Talisman work? Because it was gifted, but I played it. I believe it's his. I think it goes to Foley. Yeah, Foley, I'm pretty sure Comment down below this. if we're wrong on this, but I yeah. believe it's, like, memory, it's trying to, like, check the last, like, yeah. ownership. What, like, it's trying to undo whatever effect he got it. Yeah. And then, oh, Calvin, I have, I have a comment or two about your upkeep. Uh, I don't know if it's good or bad, but it's happening. Uh, I lose a life to the Pierce. Um, you can make people draw cards. Uh, I lose a life unless I discard a card. I lose your life unless I discard a card. All right, I'm going to draw six cards, by the way. So I'm just going to get that out of the way now. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'll lose. 
three life to the Torment of Scarabs. Okay. Uh, and I can't sacrifice a creature. Cool. And You're good. now you get a thing. Yeah, a creature, right? Yeah. Hey, do you remember uh, Possibility Storm? Boom. Yeah. <laughs> I got an Angel of Ruins. All right, cool. Cool. What do you do with the Angel of Ruins that enters the battlefield? Um, enters the battlefield, exile two artifacts or, and or enchantments. I didn't even realize that did something when you played it. I only played this in Gavi because it was playing Cycling. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna flash back for Minion Alchemy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The top four cards. We are going to just take this one. We are going to put these into the bin, and I'm going to draw for turn. Beep. This is a game about upkeeps and unsteps. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons, more like upkeeps and unsteps, am I right, boys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pass a turn. Cool. On to Mountain, do Wish Claw. Yeah. Here. You're gonna just give, I don't think it matters where it, it goes. It doesn't. I can't really use the, it's got nothing. Uh, Maybe Calvin can use it. Give him the free resource. This time, we're going to grab, for what it's the worth, the other thing I was going to grab last time. I think it's actually good practice to not give it back to the owner. You think so? Oh, because the owner might be able to flicker it? Right. If, yeah, no, he's right. If it, it gets it flickered, Calvin. it goes to the owner. So I have no incentive. But if Calvin flickers it, yeah. Like anyone right. has an incentive to sack a permanent, right? Um, it's this, but I'm going to play it right now. One, oh. two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, that's five. Five. Karazkar, the Eye Tyrant. Oh, my God. What? I'm going to tap differently. Hang on. I can't read. What? This is the um, uh, this is Xanathar's dumb under, younger brother. Whenever you play a tag player, tap target creature that player controls and goad it. Um, whenever an opponent attacks one of your opponents, you an attacking player, each draw a card and lose a life. Uh, Kelvin, I have to attack you with Frenzied, and I'm also gonna attack you with uh, Kara's car. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Cool. Okay. All right, something actually really interesting happens. Um, when Kelvin dies, I get all those curses, and uh, that might kill me. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, cause what happens when I die, cause now I die, for what it's worth, I could discard this to venture, that does nothing. Yeah. Um, but, so we'll just, cause th this is my the second babe. These all are gonna go to the graveyard? Yeah, my graveyard specifically. But Lindsay's And then these actually that? disappear, right? Yeah, those are just fucking gone. Oh, you should probably give Iden's Torbrand back. And then, yeah, Iden gets his Torbrand back. And Lin sees all these go to my bin. Uh, with that, I'll draw from Marnock and pass a turn. At my, at your end step, this happens? Yeah. Doomwake Giant and Agent see that, your board's gone. Right, uh, so let's see here. I have a response. We're gonna go one and we're gonna cast Supernatural stamina. Yeah. On Krazkar. Okay. When it when it dies, it's gonna come back with a plus two plus zero until end of turn. Makes but sense. it's on my unstep, so it's not gonna matter about much. But it does come back. And then this goes to my bin. Yeah. All right. So that comes back, right? And then we're going to my turn. Yep. So I'm just gonna t untap my Doomwake Giant, and then we're gonna have to take a quick look at something happening over here that I don't like very much. Yeah. That might kill me. Um. <laughs> okay. I have a Curse of Death's Hold, Unbinding, Nest of Scarabs, Curse of Surveillance. Cool. So we're just gonna go through these one by one. Cool. Yeah. Um, we'll do Curse of Misfortunes last, actually. So first, Verbosity doesn't do anything. This is actually just a propaganda, and this Mirror Maid is also a Curse of Misfortunes. So the first thing that happens is a Trespassers Curse. Um, no, nothing's coming into play, so we're good on that. Pierced Heart, we will take one. Um, curse of Death Hold is a static effect. Curse of Unbinding, I suppose, will allow to happen right now. So um, until I hit a creature. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I, don't don't play, play. I don't play very many creatures, is the funny thing, but I definitely have more. I say hopefully. <laughs> you know, last time I was doing this, it was bad. I don't know if you guys remember this. Uh, oh, there it is. Nightscape. Hey, it's your buddy. Um, hey, the rest... some funny shit happens. Does it? Yeah, your trespassers, Chris, was like, yo. Oh, right. The, like a, a drain gain. Um, drain gain on myself, but also I have death's hold, so it's just here. It's just fucking dead. Yeah, I'll say, so then we did an unbinding. Torment of Scarabs, um, at the beginning of it, enchanted players upkeep, they lose three life unless they sacrifice an element permanent. Um, like it's too late. I'm gonna sacrifice smoke. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's for next turn. Curse of Surveillance, no. Um, cruel Reality, enchanted player upkeep, sacrifices a creature or planeswalker, they can't lose five life. I'm gonna sacrifice, I don't think this is that useful. So we've done all this. Now we're going to do the Curse of Misfortune, of which I have two, right, Foley? Yeah. So I'm gonna go get um, Curse of the Nightly Hunt with the first one. Yeah. And with the second one, assuming I have a curse left in my deck, I might not. 
Um, I'm gonna get Curse of Thirst. Um, now, funny. Funny. Funny, funny. Curse of Thirst, it, at the beginning of Enchanted Player's upkeep is gonna deal damage to them equal to the number of curses on them. So this is the one I'm gonna gift to you with Lynn. Yeah. And, um, and then I'm just gonna... Can you gift all of them or just one? No, just one at a time. And then I'll draw two with Lind, and then draw a card for turn, and then I will remember to untap these. Okay, so now that that nightmare's over, you can also untap Lind now. Uh, no, I can't. No, no, no. Oh. no, no, no. Yeah, that was after untap. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll play that card, which is a Drown Catacomb, and then it's a Dragon Skull Summit, sir. Dragon, whatever it is, it's a thing. I'm gonna hit you with a Curse of Bloodletting. Yeah. Fully, and that's gonna trigger Doom Wake Giant. Yeah. So minus one, minus one. All yeah. right, and let me make sure I can tap for this. Um, so anyway, right in the middle of this incredibly complicated turn, the GoPro ran out of camera memory, but we're back. <laughs> but what did I just do? We just hit you with a Curse of Bloodletting, right? Yeah. You tap for five, and Doomwake put a minus on that, right? Yes. Cool. Here, we'll, I'll track this. Thank you. That's do the best. Now I'm going to tap for some more. Man. And I'm going to enchant you with Curse of Leeches. Yeah. Which the Doomwake Giant's going to see. Um, and then I'm going to enchant you again, I guess. Um, this time with Maddening Hex. Doomwick. Bee boop. And now I don't think that you can kill me. Um, I say hopefully. So I'm gonna go to combat. Yeah. I'm gonna attack you for what ends up being three. Cool. But it's gonna double when you if you take it. Right, I have a response. Yeah. Because this is really the only thing I can do. I think I still lose, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hellish Rebuke. Sure, what does it do? Until end of turn, permanence to your opponent's control gain. When this permanent deals damage to the player who catch Hellish Rebuke, sacrifice this permanent, you lose two life. Okay, so this is gonna deal damage, right? Right, I'm gonna so take eight. Six, actually. Six. Because um, it's getting minus one, minus one. Right. And then Maddening Hex also triggers when you do that. Um, whenever enchanted player casts a non-creature spell, roll a d6. It deals damage to that player equal, so roll the d6. And it is damage, so it's going to be six times two, I believe. Wow, okay, yeah. Does that just kill you? No. Puts me to four. And then you take the damage from the thing? I already did. Oh, you already did. So you go to four, got it. And then the Maddening Hex says, oh, this is so confusing. Uh, Maddening Hex, then attach it to another one of your opponents chosen at random. I guess it has to be me. Yeah. All right, cool. Opponents. And then this dies. And then Foley. Yeah. And you take two. I uh, take two. Foley. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, now I have a bunch of shit on my upkeep. You have a bunch of shit on your upkeep. Do I even live through it? I have no clue if I live through mine, Foley. So, Curse of Thirst. Deals damage equal to the number of... Uh, that one does it. Is it damage? Equal to the number of curses on or me. Or is which it is, life loss? Uh, deals damage. Oh, wow. So that's so three times die? two, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> GG. <laughs> so what did we learn today, kids? I'll tell you what we learned today. Doomwake Giant is a really good card. Ah!